Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technoloop. Today we are talking about the POCO F1. So if you are a regular on the channel, then you know that I've been using the POCO F1 as my daily phone for around three months now, and it has been a great experience. Now I've already made a couple of videos on the POCO F1, including the full review. So in case you missed those videos, I'll drop a link to them in the i button over here and also in the description box below. So maybe you can watch those videos after this video to get a little bit more information about this phone. Now today we are going to talk about one particular aspect and that is custom ROMs. Now one major advantage of buying a phone from a company like Xiaomi is that you get a lot of options when it comes to custom ROMs because these phones are really popular when it comes to ROM development. So that is a major advantage and that's why I went ahead and downloaded the Pixel Experience ROM on my POCO F1 and the experience has been awesome. That's why I'm making this video today. So today in this video, we are going to talk about the Pixel Experience ROM for POCO F1. Okay, so here's what you need to do to install the Pixel Experience ROM on your POCO F1. Number one, you have to unlock the bootloader of your phone. Number two, you have to root your POCO F1. And number three, you have to flash TWRP recovery. Now don't worry if you don't know how to do these things. I'll drop links to articles and videos in the description box below, which will guide you through each and every step of unlocking your bootloader, routing your phone, and also installing TWRP recovery. Once you have TWRP recovery installed on your phone, the next thing that you need to do is download the Pixel Experience ROM from their website and just flash it. Now one good thing over here is that the Pixel Experience ROM does come with Google Apps pre-installed. So you do not need to download Google Apps separately. They come in bundled with the ROM. That is a very big thumbs up from my side. So once you flash the ROM, that's it. You're done. You have the Pixel Experience ROM on your POCO F1 now. I'll drop links to the articles which I referred in order to install the Pixel Experience ROM on my POCO F1 in the description box below. So you can go ahead and read those articles in order to know how to install this ROM on your POCO F1. Now enough about all the other things. Let's just talk about the Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 9 Pie for the POCO F1. So I've been using this ROM for around two weeks now and the experience has been great. The first thing that I want to talk about is Google Camera App. So Google has always been very good when it comes to image processing algorithms. We've seen this with the Pixel phones and that's why they are so famous when it comes to their cameras. You can get those algorithms on your POCO F1 by using the Google camera app. And one good thing is that the Pixel Experience ROM comes baked in with the Google camera application and the photos that come out of this phone using Google camera app are incredible. Especially the front portrait mode works really, really well. The edge detection is awesome. Background blur is on point and the overall dynamic range is very, very good. Same goes with the case with the rear camera. You get awesome dynamic range. The colors pop out and overall you get a very pleasing image. That's why when it comes to the Google camera app, I give it a very big thumbs up. Now, before you go ahead and smash on your keyboard that you do not need to install a custom ROM for the Google camera app, I know that. I know you can install only the APK while routing your phone. I know that there's a procedure for that. But still, the fact that the Pixel Experience ROM comes baked in with Google camera app is a very big thumbs up from my side. The next thing that I want to talk about is performance. So performance with stock Android is always very good as compared to a heavy skin like MIUI 10. And the performance on the Pixel Experience ROM has been really, really well. Now, I'm not saying that there are no bugs in this ROM. In fact, there are several bugs in this ROM. It is nowhere near perfect, but still the experience has been really good. So here's a point to consider. Before you decide to flash this ROM, please make sure that you're okay with bugs as this is a custom ROM. So custom ROMs take a little bit extra time when it comes to development because it depends upon the developer and how fast he solves the issues. So when you install a custom ROM, you are going to get a lot of bugs. So please make sure you are okay with that. So with this ROM, you get pure clean software from Google that is stock Android and it works very, very well. Like I personally love stock Android. There is no bloatware whatsoever. There are no extra features. There are no extra customizations, just the things that you will use or you will need. So it is a very pure experience from Google. And as we all know, Google is very good with their software. And if you want that experience, you can, you know, really go ahead and flash this ROM and you'll have a very good time with your POCO F1. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is battery life. So generally when you install custom ROMs, battery life takes a huge hit because these ROMs are not well optimized when it comes to using the resources. 
But the Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 9 Pie works really well in terms of the battery life as well. So that's a point where I was really surprised because I did not expect this ROM to provide this good battery life to me. In fact, it is very similar to that of MIUI 10 when it comes to battery life. So again, that gets a thumbs up from my side. Also, one more good thing with this ROM is that it is based on Android 9. That's why it has built-in support for notches. So the notch management is very good on this ROM. It is perfect. Like the notch is not, you know, misaligned or misoriented. It is very good. And even all the apps work in full screen mode. So that again is very helpful. Like you don't need to wait for an update for the notch to work. It works built in, which is very good. You can also hide the notch by going into developer options. So that's again a handy feature. So overall, this ROM is very good when it comes to stock Android experience. So if you want pure stock Android experience and if you want that Google camera app baked into it, then you can definitely go ahead and flash this ROM. But again, it comes with a lot of bugs because it is under active development. And as updates come, these bugs will go away. So you have to be patient. You have to rely on the developer. And that's a very big thing to consider before you decide to flash this ROM. So anyway, I hope that this video helped you out in some way or the other. And if it did, then please let me know about that in the comment section down below. Also, if you have any more questions regarding this ROM or any other ROM in general, then you can always ask them in the comments below or maybe you can follow me on instagram and ask your questions over there so that's been it my name is harsh punjabi and i'll see you guys in the next one